Plastic surgeons are seeing a quarantine boom. As they try to get everyone scheduled, one hurdle has been COVID-19 testing. As KXA investigator Arzo Dost explains, some doctors now require it before any elective surgery. I'm super excited I got it done. Anna Samaratunga is recovering at home. So I had an implant um, exchange, and then I also had a Brazilian bottom lift. She was supposed to have the procedure in April, but COVID-19 halted her surgery until a few weeks ago. You go into maybe even a more sterile environment and everybody has gloves and masks on. More beautiful you plastic surgeries. Dr. Johnny Franco says his practice has seen a 20% increase of new patients scheduling just this month. They feel like for the first time in their life, they have time. Uh, they have time to do this. Dr. Franco says on top of virtual consultations, staggering appointments, curbside check-ins, his office is also doing their own COVID-19 testing before any procedure. I don't think there's enough rapid tests. I think that has made it very, very difficult. His office uses a saliva test for patients. In a perfect world, you know, we would have the rapid tests available for everybody that we could test people just the day before would be ideal. Right now, you know, we're having to test people a little further in advance, and that's why we have them self quarantine themselves. The Texas Medical Association, which represents doctors across the state, says there are no specific guidance on testing for elective procedures, so it's up to each practice on how to handle it. I appreciate everybody being. Um more cautious. Anna says knowing that everyone is tested made it easier for her to move forward with her surgery. Arzo Dost, KXAN investigates. And Dr. Franco says since they resumed surgeries, only one patient tested positive for the coronavirus. When that happens, procedures are rescheduled and patients have to get retested. Now they're all keeping a close eye on COVID-19 case totals to see if elective surgery surgeries will be affected again.